Working tax credit is money provided to boost the income of working people who are on low income. It does not matter whether you are working for someone else or you are self-employed. If you claim working tax credit, then you can get basic amount and extra, which is known as element on top of the basic amount. The basic amount is £2,280 a year. If you are a couple applying together, then you can get £2,280 plus £2,340 a year. If you are a single parent, up to £2,340 a year, you can get on top of £2,280. You work at least 30 hours a week. In that case, you can get up to £950 a year on top of £2,280. I am Dr. Khan and welcome to my channel UK Knowledge Guru, where I provide free guidance. This video is complete guide on how to claim working tax credit. So without wasting time, let's start. So let's first discuss what you will get. You get a basic amount and extra known as elements on top of this. How much you de get depend on things like your circumstances and your income. The basic amount is up to £2,280 a year. Your elements depend on you are a couple applying together. If you are a couple and applying together, you can get up to £2,340 a year. If you are a single parent, you can get £2,340 a year. If you work at least 30 hours a week, in that case, you can get up to £950 a year. If you are disabled, in that case, you can get £3,685 a year. If you have a severe disability, in that case, you can get up to 1,595 a year, usually on top of the disability payment. So you will keep getting your disability payment, but you will get on top of that 1,595 pound a year. You pay for approved childcare that takes place in person, not online. And you can get up to 122 pound 50 pence per child for the first child and for this two or more you can get a week 210 pound now let's discuss what is the eligibility criteria for working tax credit you can only make a claim for working tax credit if you already get child tax credit so if you're getting a child tax credit in that case you can claim working tax credit if you cannot apply for working tax credit, you can apply for universal credit instead. You might be able to apply for pension credit if you and your partner are state pension age or over. Hours you may work must work a certain number of hours a week to qualify. So if you are age 25 to 59, you need to work at least 30 hours. If you are age 60 and over, in that case, 16 hours. If you are disabled, at least 16 hours. Single with one child or more, at least 16 hours. Couple with one child or more, usually at least 24 hours. Between you, one of you working at least 16 hours. Exception for couple with at least one child. You can claim if you work less than 24 hours a week between you and one of the following applies. You work at least 16 hours a week and you are disabled or age 60 and over. You work at least 16 hours a week and your partner is getting certain benefit because of the disability and ill health is entitled to carer allowance or in the hospital or prison. There is a video on my channel for carer allowance. You can watch that for the guidance for that. Now let's discuss if you are a self-employed, what will be the scenario in that case? Some self-employed people are not eligible for working tax credit. To qualify your self-sponsored, your self-employment work, you must aim to make a profit. 
it must be also commercial, regular and organized. This means you may not qualify if you do not make profit or have clear plans to make one, work regularly, keep business records such as receipts and invoice, follow any regulations that apply to your work, for example, having license and insurance. If the average hourly profit from your self-employed work is less than the national minimum age, in that case, you are not qualified for that. What your pay? So the work must last at least four weeks. Whenever we talk about work, must last for one month. You may or you must expect it to last for three weeks and you must be paid. So for example, if you planning for that, you your pay, whatever you, your pay is coming, that work should last for four weeks and it must be anticipated that you will get that. This can include payment in kind, for example, farm produce for a farm labor or where you expect to be paid for the work. What are the exceptions in that case? Paid work does not include money paid for a rent. For example, if you have a for a rent or room share scheme less than 7,500, in that case, you won't get that. For work done while in prison, as a grant or for training or studying, as a sports person. Your income, there is a set limit for income because it depends on your circumstances and those of your partner. For example, 18,000 for a couple without children or 13,100 for a single person without children. But it can be higher if you have children, pay for approved childcare, or one of you is disabled. Now let's discuss how you are paid. Money is paid directly into the bank or building society account every week or four weeks. You must choose one account if you are a couple. Usually you are paid from the day of your claim up to the end of the tax year, which is 5th April. Now let's discuss how to claim working tax credit. You can only make a claim for working tax credit if you already get child tax credit. If you get child tax credit, to claim working tax credit, update your existing credit claim. Update your claim by reporting a change in your circumstances. And if you do not get child tax credit, in that case, you cannot apply for working tax credit. You can apply for universal credit instead. You might be able to apply for pension credit if you and your partner are paid pension age or over. Now let's discuss leave and gaps in your employment. You can get working tax credit for period when you do not work. For example, when you go on maternity leave, sick pay, in between jobs, you are entitled to the work tax credit for a certain period of time providing you qualify. If you do not return to work at the time or at the end of the period, contact HM Revenue and Customs. When we discuss about circumstances, we discuss period you get tax credit for. You lose or leave your job, for example, for four weeks. You are maternity leave for th the first 39 weeks of your leave. You are on adoption leave for the first 39 weeks of your leave. You are on paternity leave for the period of your ordinary paternity leave. You are on additional paternity leave up to the equivalent 39th week of your partner's leave. You are sick. For the first 28 weeks, you are on strike for the first 10 days. You are laid off work for the first 4 weeks of your laid off. You are suspended from work, for example, because of a complaint, usually the period of suspension. Now let's discuss the qualifying rules for the working tax credit. To qualify, you must have been in paid work. 
you must have worked the right number of hours before you go on leave or the gap happens. Have got statutory sick pay or an equivalent benefit if you were on sick leave. If you have any questions regarding the working tax credit, feel free to contact me and I'll get back to you.